Less than three weeks until Election Day, a lot at stake in Illinois. Dana, you've been closely looking at last night's fiery debate. Yeah, and you know, it was the second and final debate, Jim, and lots of times the two candidates accused the other of not telling the truth, so we decided to fact check four comments from last night. Let's start with Republican challenger Darren Bailey. Here's what he said about education spending by the Chicago Public Schools. Our children here in, in Chicago receive $29,000 per student. Senator Bailey then went on to blast CPS for providing a bad education. But regarding that number, we found it's not correct. According to the Illinois State Board of Education, CPS spends just over $20,000 per student, about $9,000 less than the $29,000 figure Bailey provided. Sticking to education, Governor Pritzker also made this claim. U.S. News and World Report has named us number one among the top 10 most popular states no in way. the nation no for pre-K to 12 education. So we searched for Illinois at number one on that U.S. News list. We couldn't find it because Illinois is actually number six. But Pritzker said number one among the most populous states when you crunch the numbers. That way, it's true. But you won't find Illinois ranked number one on any published list in that publication. Also on education, Darren Bailey cited a bad grade given to Illinois public schools. Our children are not learning to read and write. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but it's a fact. Wall Street Journal just gave us an F on our education. Senator Bailey is correct there, citing an opinion piece from the Wall Street Journal editorial board earlier this month, giving Illinois an F in part for a low number of students able to read at grade level. Now, turning to another topic, here's what Pritzker said he did to fight crime. That's why I increased the number of state police, why we built state-of-the-art crime labs. We eliminated the state's rape kit backlog. That also is true. Earlier this year, the budget included funding for 300 new state police troopers, along with one new forensics lab and the expansion of two others. The backlog of rape kits has also been eliminated, down from more than 1,800 just a couple years ago. Election Day is less than three weeks away now, and we'll bring you live results all night long on this channel and on our streaming network, which you can find on Pluto TV, CBS News app, Fire or Roku.